Hello everybody, it is Emery48 here, and this is the first video I'm posting on a Saturday in a long while, and it's going to be on Knights of the Old Republic 2 Sith Lords. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've last played this game, and I went around the corner and finally figured out where I had left myself to fight a massive droid. Uh, I'll cut to the chase. I died a couple of times. Let's skip to the first one now. Fighting this thing didn't go quite as well as I was hoping it would and it reminded me why I had left myself here. I don't know why I don't have my weapon enabled, but I don't. But it doesn't make a difference. I, mean, I tried to stun it. Didn't really care. Um, and my two great companions are trying to shoot out through the ship that we're about to be getting on. Um, so that's useful. Uh, but as you can see by the damage done, we barely did anything and we lost. So I'll give it another try. This time I am coming from a different angle and I went and created a bunch of grenades because those seem to be the things that actually do damage and they stun it a little bit which is very helpful and means I die slower both good things I think I hit myself with one of the grenades but it's fine did enough damage with my main Jedi character I guess um, as you go through this story he's still trying to figure out exactly who he is so, I guess we'll call him the Jedi for now, because that's what other characters call him. But he did enough damage so that I can just hopefully end this with my two backup characters. Although Aton is not doing the best, so I went back to the grenades because it stuns him for some reason. Uh, so that's perfect, so we'll do the rest of the damage with the grenades. Uh, now, this is part way into the story, but I didn't want to restart because... It's I mean, it's been a while since I've played, but I've already gone through this story once before, uh, up to a little bit past this point, because I accidentally hit a point where I couldn't go past and I didn't have a save set. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go from here. It will all start to make sense once I get farther into the story anyway. Uh, a lot of the background... You haven't really missed because it hasn't been explained to the character yet. Some of it does get explained later in this. Uh, in the stream that I did, I don't know if it will be in this first episode or not. Uh, but we can open up the roof hangar doors so that we can get out of here. And this is our first cutscene of our videos on Knights of the Old Republic 2. I'm going to try and show cutscenes and dialogue so that you guys can get an idea of the story as I'm playing along. I will also show uh, combat. Statement. We have arrived too late. The target has invaded us. We must pursue it. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. I don't really know if this stuff is going to get copyrighted because it's such an old game, but it is Star Wars, so I'll have to play that by year. This is the first one that I'm making, and we're getting shot down, so that's not the best. Um, this is the first video I'm doing on a Star Wars video game, so that will all be a trial for me. And even if it is, I don't know if that will change anything for these videos, since I'm not monetizing anyway. Declaration. 
track you down, Jedi. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary addendum. And put an end to hostilities. Unnecessary clarification. We merely wish to cripple your vessel. Once we tracked your coordinates, we were able to deploy several droids in this location. Probing query. We are, however, curious as to why you chose to come to the remnants of the Polar Telos irrigation system. There is nothing here that our instruments can detect. Eager threat. But we are looking forward to extracting your motives for coming here when we place you in torture restraints. Self-evident answer. Wherever you try to run, we will be there, armed and ready. Rhetorical query. So the query you have posed to us is one we put to you. What are you doing here, we wonder? Uh, briefly, I'll go over my goal for this the Star Wars video game series. Um, I'm hoping these videos can run about 15 to 20 minutes in length. I'll try and stop it at a point that makes sense in the story uh, to wrap up the video. Other than that, I am always down for recommendations of how you want these videos to be structured, if there are better ways that you want them to be structured. Um, or other things that you want to see if you think I'm missing out on things or if you have any tips for how I should be playing this game better because frankly there are a lot of things in this game that I'm probably doing wrong so I'm down to hear your recommendations on in-game or video format just say the word I got very lucky that this HK Assassin droid has very bad aim, even though Atom has bad aim as well. Um, I was able to get him with some grenades. I don't know if there's a way to improve character's aim, because I tend to dislike the uh, range characters because they don't have as good like, accuracy. What is it? I do tend to auto upgrade my non main word. characters, but if there's ways that I should be upgrading those characters, please let me know down below. Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense we will come to no harm. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? 
Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current deep, deeper to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah. And there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Atten. If he is a Jedi, he will forgive. And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you, wiping the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of the Jarek can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches. That whole moment with Kreia and Atom pretty much sums up why I dislike Kreia with a passion in this game. But I'm going to call it here for this video, during this little cutscene of people walking. We'll pick up here in the next one. Thank you everyone so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.